We're traveling Colombia in our self-converted van. We're hanging out here in Bucaramanga, Colombia, close to Venezuela, 993 meters or 3,258 feet altitude. Keeps us a comfortable warm temperature. In a valley surrounded by mountains, Bucaramanga is the ninth largest city with around as many people as Danny's hometown Spokane. Maybe that's why we like it so much here. <laughs> We're able to wander the city and the outskirts with our love of Colombia growing with each interaction. So we decided to come get the brakes looked at because there's tons of mountains in Colombia. We got the brakes checked in Panama. They said, hey, maybe get them checked again in a couple months. Here we are at the mechanics. Well, it looks okay to me. You know, I'm not really a car guy, but you have to be when you live in a van. These pads, plenty, plenty more. This one is a bit less. And it's looking a little, little bit not great, but there's plenty left there. So we're gonna have them put this back together. These pads are okay to me. I think there's plenty there. You said the other side's a little worse? This part has to move, you see? Mm -hmm. And over on the other side, it's not moving. So, yeah, they're just gonna clean that piece, I guess. So, it's gonna do that. So, it looks like we do need new pads. This part is coming up here and very low on the left side. So, we're gonna get some pads. Yeah, it turns out it's a little difficult to get the repairs today because today's a holiday here. It's Day of the Races, Dia de la Raza, and it commemorates the day that Columbus arrived to the mainland. Um, but instead of celebrating Columbus, they celebrate the diversity of the people, all the indigenous cultures. The guys here are super nice. I told him I was hungry, so he took me to pick up this nice meal, whole chicken, uh, big old combo for less than five bucks here. Give it a shot. Yeah, and they had for 2,000 more, so basically still five dollars, and you could get a whole chicken. Whoa, <laughs> I mean, it looks like you already got a whole chicken. I got a half rice, they call it Chinese rice, and a soup. Soup, fries, arepas, chicken, fried rice, five bucks. That's nuts. Good. Oh no, they couldn't find the right pads. So what he's gonna do is put pad on our old one. Half of this just chipped off on the other one. So he's using these other pads and attaching it there. That's the mechanic homie back home, Joss, and uh, see what he says about this maneuver. I heard back from my mechanic friend back home and he said uh, relining brake pads is something that used to get done a lot in the old days. Shouldn't be a problem if he has the right tools to do it. <laughs> so that helps us feel better about this process which has seemed quite different than normal. <laughs> We're going for a test drive. It's a norm, no? Lo siento. <laughs> no sounds. <laughs> He's so we're going to the US. <laughs> Here we go, trying out these brakes. Downhill. It stops. <laughs> <laughs> the only one potential issue with this approach is that they use asbestos when they're doing that. But yeah, that stuff gets in your lungs and never comes out, I guess is the issue. He said it's a common repair down here when they can't find the replacement uh, brake pads and we're good to go. But you know, when we get to a big city, we should get them replaced and we'll keep these as backups. This place is pretty incredible. They got the BMX track there. And then right back here, an enormous skate park. This is epic. This right here, it's gotta be mm, 10 feet, 12 feet here. Probably 10 feet. Man. And even way down here, there's a huge soccer field, trails, 
And I guess some Rita's been loving this spot just to run around, get some energy out. Wow! <laughs> oh, look at! Look at! Look at! I'm loving this Bucaramanga skate park. I'm gonna try and do a single line, a little skate park tour in one line. Well, there it is. <laughs> I would have liked to do a little more over on this side, but honestly, halfway through, I'm like exhausted. So I'll probably do another line over here. We're hanging out here at the skate park and it, it got to be nighttime and the park actually gets pretty active at night. There's a lot of families wandering around, stuff like that. The whole park is gated with the security. Danny's over here fixing his bike, putting new spokes in. These and are the ones I took out. Ooh, they were too long. <laughs> yeah. So he's fixing his bike and I'm working on my the new video. We have the doors open because it you know creates a nice breeze to have both of the doors open. And uh, at one point a police officer came through. They shined their lights in here and they were like, Are you guys okay in there? Like like kind of was thinking about closing the door, I think, and we were like, Oh, we're okay and he I we thought that he thought someone was gonna try and rob us if there's nobody in here or someone did rob us because the door was open. And just now a family just closed our door for us. So, I mean, I think that should show there's more people looking out for us than trying to hurt us at this place, <laughs> which is pretty nice. I mean, you never know what's gonna happen, but it seems like, yeah, everybody in this little parking lot is like making sure our doors are closed, even though it's, <laughs> we're actually trying to keep them open because we're hot. <laughs> And this is pretty sweet that I can always come to a skate park and like make friends and everything and the guards here are super nice they said oh if you want to shower like just talk with us after everybody else leaves and uh, the guard he lets me go over there and shower you know I realized when I got there I'm out of soap and I'm out of shampoo <laughs> And then the shower wouldn't even turn on. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. So I go to the other one. The other one did turn on. What I did have was this thing I bought today to hang my towel in any <laughs> shower that doesn't have a hook. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to start by saying how incredibly friendly the Colombians Whoa, have been my. to us. I don't think anyone would do this in the US. 
So we went to Claro because my phone stopped working like inexplicably. We got this text message. It said you have to register to your device you're using, your phone. Didn't really tell us what the downside would be. Yeah, so I, I tried to register it on my phone and it didn't work. There was no option that said that there would be an option. So uh, I just kind of ignored it after that because I was like, well, I can't do it on my phone. <laughs> yesterday, my phone completely stopped working. I had signal here yesterday. It was just super weird. So we started looking it up and I guess because my phone is from the US, you have to re-register the phone here in Colombia. The I MEI number has to be registered. It's like an anti-theft system. When you re-register, that means that no one can, that if they find your phone, they know that it's stolen. It belongs to the person that it's registered to. We thought, we'll just go register the phone at Claro. We went to a Claro, they don't do it there. So we went to the Principal Claro <laughs> and they told us, oh, do you have a cedula? It's just their ID number. Everyone has one. No, we don't have one. Right, yeah, because they say you can have a cedula or an extranjero, a foreigner cedula. But that means that it's a registered here ID card for foreigners. So they don't accept our driver's license as a foreign right. license. We had one option. We had to go and make it a Colombian friend <laughs> on the street. On the street. To on ba the spot. basically use their cedula to buy a new phone plan. The first guy, normal guy, just sitting on the street with his motorcycle helmet, we were like, hey, can you help us? And he's like, sure, of course. And, and he just walks right in the collateral with us. And right before that, Emily and I were both feeling out of hope. We were like, well, I guess we can't do it today. Yeah. And I thought, Let's just ask this one guy. Mostly because we had walked to, I thought we could get around it by buying a different SIM from a different company. Collateral completely just blocked my phone from being able to use any network here. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of crazy how they can do that. So the guy comes in with us and yeah, he bought, we bought a cell phone plan with his name. <laughs> So my phone is technically registered in his name, I guess, now? Yeah, his, his name, his address. Yeah, he was like, oh, well, you're definitely not gonna use like a credit card or whatever, so. And then when we were chatting with him, we find out he's like into Bitcoin and he's actually like a really cool guy and yeah. So yeah, it was cool to hang out with him for a couple minutes. He basically just laughed after that because I think we accidentally like interrupted him and his friends deciding on where to eat lunch so they were pretty, his friends were like what are you doing why are you taking so long thank you so much to our new colombian friend yeah we really really appreciate the recommendations that he also gave us for around the country mostly for food which is pretty sick and and helping me get a new phone plan i can't believe that we got that done that it felt really hopeless being blocked but uh, now emily's able to use her phone again thanks to the help of our new friend Oh my gosh, you guys, the Colombians have been so nice today. Just to continue on with the friendliness, we went to a gym because that is our pastime, going to the gym, getting a shower for the first year and a half we were in van life in the US. So the guy just let us in for free. He's like, oh, it'll be 30,000, which would have been kind of expensive, like almost $10. Yeah, probably been, like seven bucks. We've been spending twenty thousand a night just to sleep up there. Yeah, so thirty would have been. It would have been a, a lot. Much, but it, yeah. yeah, it's still less than ten dollars each. But, yeah, but yeah, it would have been a lot for a shower. But he was just—he just opened it up for us, and he was like, "Yeah, come on in." And he showed us all around the gym. There was like a women's only part, which was really awesome because. I even feel uncomfortable lifting weights around the, the unisex part. So they let us shower and gym for free. Yeah. Courtesy, courtesy, he said. Hey babe, movie time? Yeah, let's do it. We're leaving Bucaramanga and heading into the Paramo. 
which is an alpine environment specific to these Colombian mountain ranges. We've called a finca to set up a place to stay and explore. We're heading high up into some spectacular hikes and hopefully be in the cold we've been craving for over a year. We'll see you guys next time for some more kindness of strangers and epic adventures in the Colombian Andes. If you're loving our time in South America so far, let us know in the comments and subscribe to see more. We're putting out two videos a week for constant travel stoke. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.